Hi, Andrew Bell with you once again, and I thought this edition I'd try and make some sense of the maze of information that is surfacing in the market, and perhaps about why the waters are a little muddy at the moment. I thought the best comment I'd heard for some time was that of Rod Cornish, who is the head of Macquarie Bank's research, and has been for the last 20 years, and certainly by my measure, one of the most conservative commentators on the real estate market. Rod said, you do tend to get some volatility in the early stages of a housing recovery. So generally speaking, people's expectations of the market is that there'll be more assurances about the direction, but that's not how it is. I liken it a little bit to sailing. We're heading in a certain direction, but you continually tack course and often appear to actually be sailing away from the direction you're actually wanting to head. It's also not dissimilar to the stock market, where you'll see sometimes rise of three or four days and then a fall and then back into further rises. You know, in recent figures, the Australian Bureau of Statistics and RP Data have recorded four months of price rises throughout Australia in the months of June, July, August and September, but unexpectedly posted a month of falls in October. Unexpectedly because we had yet another interest rate drop in October, which has taken us just to a quarter percent short of our lowest point in interest rates in over 20 years. Interest rates are really surprising at the moment. First of all, October drop actually spooked many people who were concerned that the drop in interest rates was actually signalling that our economy is in really in trouble. People pulled back a little, but they took heart again when the November figure came through from Reserve Bank with no interest rate fall. They read into this that things couldn't have been so bad. So over the past few weeks, we've seen a surge in consumer confidence rising to the highest level since April of this year. Now a sub-index, which measures whether people believe now is a good time to buy a dwelling, is at its highest level since September way back in 2009. And even those who hold a mortgage increase their confidence during the course of November. There seems to be no country in the world that lives and breathes their central bank's decisions over interest rates as much as we do. So we're all now waiting to see what the next move is. Well, the Reserve Bank have openly admitted that their grave concern is that by lowering interest rates further, they're going to trigger another round of a housing boom. They're also aware that generally falls in interest rates take up to six months to filter through. So they prefer to wait and just see how strong the market comes back in response to the 1.5% drop in interest rates. They've already fed through. They also know people are responding just a little slower and would like to make sure that they're really clear before any further move. Yet on the other side of the coin, they're aware the business would like to be stimulated by lower interest rates. And so they have this battle between wanting to stimulate business, but not wanting to create another real estate boom. The likelihood is that the Reserve Bank will be very slow to deliver any further interest rate falls. They would also like to keep as much firepower available, knowing that they still have some stimulatory firepower up their sleeve, unlike most other economies of the world, should world events mean their economy needs a really major boost. On that front, there's very strong evidence now that the US is getting some real traction in their economy. Just about every leading indicator is on the up, and it has been that so now for a couple of months. And in the all-important China market, the transition to the new leadership is just about complete. History will tell us that the Chinese political process is that in the period leading up to the handover to the new leader, the economy is deliberately slowed. And when the handover occurs, the economy is accelerated to put the new leadership in good light. Already the figures out of China on manufacturing are showing early signs of growth. So this is my read. There's no question that the market has turned the corner and activity is occurring again. The lower interest rates have made leaving money in the bank very unattractive and investors are looking for areas where they'll get a better return. They've identified that the property market is at the bottom of the cycle and with interest rates as low as they are, prices at this point, this is the great time to get back into the market and buyers are returning in great numbers. Interest rates are almost as low as they're going to get. They might drop a little further, but that will be over a slow period of time. It's likely that they'll move back up somewhat reasonably quickly once there's clear signs the economy is getting strength again. You know, an office of our size is at the coalface on so many aspects of the real estate market here on the Gold Coast. Our sales figures are very much a J curve. Each month starting since its beginning of spring is notably stronger than the month before and the activity is widespread across every aspect. I'm certainly not expecting any spectacular rises in prices, but more importantly, I am expecting to see greater volumes of sales. I think that we are still in a conservative enough environment that perhaps we've learned our lessons from the past over-borrowings 
And so we're not going to see a debt fuel price growth market. But I do know this, there won't be a better time to secure interest rates than we're seeing at present, and prices won't be lower than they are at present. A pretty magical combination. Expect to see greater competition amongst buyers in the real estate market for the limited property around. And I believe certainly we'll look back to the middle of 2012 saying, that's the period of time I should have bought. I'll keep you up to date with the latest news as it comes to hand. That's it for now. Thanks for your time.